Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a whole new video here today. Um, this game is a game that um I've been looking at for a little bit, and I did not know because I have a PC as well, and I could have played it on PC. But I did not know that this game was on the PS5. I didn't know it was on console. And the reason why sometimes I don't play PC games or I wait for it to come on console is because console is more convenient for me because it's much more fast for me to set up. Uh, PC, sometimes I'll do it. But this game actually interests me. And also, I didn't even know that it came out back in November. <laughs> but um, this is the game, This Bed We Made. It is a 1950s, or based in the 1950s, neo-noir mystery. Um, people don't know, uh, my two favorite movie genres, I will say 100%, <laughs> is uh, 1980s slasher films and pretty much noir films in general. That would be the 40s and the 1950s with neo-noir. I just love noir films so freaking much. And I guess it kind of makes sense because, you know, horror and mystery kind of go hand in hand to an extent you know so um i guess that's kind of the reason why but you know those are great things great 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 movies go check them out obviously uh but yeah this game is all about that and um we are apparently a maid um and i did see some gameplay of it obviously um i see some people playing it but um and as soon as i seen it i was like hold up stop the prayers now hold on a second there <laughs> We're going to have to pause this video and we're going to have to download this game right here, right now. Because the game, you know, is inexpensive. It's not that, it's not that much. And I don't know how long the game actually is. So we're going to figure this out. Um, and, you know, another thing is, is that this game, <laughs> I think it takes place during, the, I don't know if it takes place during the holidays, but all I know is that there's snow outside in the game. I don't know. But, you know, it, it kind of gets that, um, it kind of has that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of has that cozy feeling, you know, the holidays and right now. We are in the holidays. As of this recording, we're in the holidays. But um, by the time I upload this, it might be Christmas Eve. So if it's Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas. If it's after Christmas, then still Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming up. But um, yeah, here we go. This bed we made on the PS5. Obviously PS4. On the PS5. And um, let's get it. Let's 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 start this thing up. Hey man, I'm ready to play this game. The game it takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Yeah, this is this is also a decision-based game. Proceed with caution. I forgot to mention that. Ah, uh, man, I don't know how good I am with this. My own fate and other people's fate is crazy. Here we go. This is another reason why I want to play this because um it reminds me of like old early two thousands PS two cutscenes. Okay. Also, I can't even look all the way around. Okay, be like that. We're in black and white, man. I said black and white. <laughs> We're in black and white, y'all. Uh oh. It's on your right here. Can I turn the camera, or is this the way the camera is going to be? Is this going to be like that? Okay, yeah, I, I think this is just the way they can. They want the camera to be like this. Got you. Be like that. Here we are. Never seen a game like that before. Uh oh. Good luck. Bet it is good luck. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, you're 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 no longer gonna say. Let me get comfortable. <laughs> Let me get comfortable. Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father. No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need okay. you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. <laughs> Oh, 
parc la fontaine les filles s'en vont so from what I've seen um this is the first game from the studio on the Mia must be hearing double audio, that's annoying. <laughs> Super. This bed we made. Uh oh. They're all trying to tell us that we're in Montreal. We're in Montreal, Canada. Dang, there's a little bit of lagging issues in the game. Okay, let's make the bed. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got you. Oh, I see now. I see now. Right? Boom. Boom. Easy peasy, let me sleep. Place pillow. Oh, I don't even have my pillow. Okay, here we go. Get the pillow. <laughs> Clean around. Clean the room. Fix this up. All right. Let's, let's explore a little bit. Let's explore a little bit. Now, the part that I left off on when I was looking at it on YouTube, um, it's kind of on a part where it gets. You know, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm just gonna wait. You know. Only menswear. Let's calm down a little bit, you know. I, I'm talking. I'm just. I'm. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Homeboy, you never shut up. I said you talk too much. Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, that's done. Why is the music not playing right now? Dang. Oh come on, she's just um humming. Put away. Okay. Open. Close. Oh, so I so literally the cursor got to be like directly on it. That's taking. <laughs> that's a little taking a little bit, but that's okay. I'll, I'll deal with that. Um, look at the thing, dude. Lady, something. Oh wait, there's a. Oh. She's just humming. I'm gonna say yumming. Leave. Wait, why would I need to leave? Is this all clean? I feel like there's something. Hold on, let me inspect this real quick. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved? In? Why am I looking at this? <laughs> I'm looking at it in real life, though. I I I, I press I press the square button to toggle it. <laughs> Y'all caught me on that one. Y'all caught me. Good catch. Good catch. <laughs> I press the square button to look at it a little bit more, and I'm, and I'm trying to uh, I'm trying I'm trying. Trying to uh, get on her about it. Like, let me relax a little bit. You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible in letting you know that you're down to your last chance. The $8,380 you owe us, plus 25% interest, is now eight months overdue. My patience has worn thin. This is, this isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You come to us for help, and help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you time and time again, and all of you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and generosity. We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. I'll be bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't too good with words. About to have like a mob hit up in this hotel. <laughs> Let's be honest with this. All right, we kind of we kind of on this date initial loan. Yeah, that's just the new loan stuff. Okay, we got it. Good stuff. It's still important to someone. Oh come on! His head is moving and everything. Look like a demonic uh switch. Mm. Call? Who am I calling? What is that? Is that a part of the oh, That's a comb. Open this thing up, dude. Lady. <laughs> He's saying dude. Gotta love wasting time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I think I think I did everything in here. You know, I I just wanted to look around just to make sure I get the mechanics. Oh hold. Okay. I think we're cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, 
Uh oh. Now she going. What's happening? Uh oh. I. I. Oh, I didn't even make it that far into the to the video. Now I'm starting to look at it. <laughs> this wasn't even that long. Think she has any real friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife. Look at these hating. Look at these haters over here, bro. Like, listen to them hate and like they're talking about me reading the gospel book and they're gossiping it up. They probably wrote the book. They probably wrote the magazine. They probably made it up. Let me relax. Let me stop being toxic. I got that 1950s toxicity. Sophie speaking. That's crazy. They got me so toxic. I went back in time and got toxic. I got. I got. I. I, I had. To, I had to. Uh, uh, mix up my toxicity. <laughs> this is stupid, man. Just play the game. <laughs> Look at me leave my key. I seen that part, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I left the key. I'm sorry. Let me shut up. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Oh, I can hear her thoughts. Oh, okay. Cool beans. Now we're in the lobby. Let's go talk to Beth Phoenix. Ah. Uh, hey, Beth. Gulagoon. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. <laughs> uh, I try to ignore it. Yeah, I try to ignore them. I try not to pay attention to them. Yeah, I try I to ignore I just find them. the sucking noise is hard to ignore, you know? But that won't be an issue today, <laughs> what? of course. Every sound is... The what noises? ...by the phone's constant ringing. Because of the storm? You have no idea. You're the only person I've talked to today that hasn't mentioned the blizzard. I mean, until now. Oh. Sorry. Nah, it's so all you're always bringing it up. I guess I'm just looking for something else to talk about. Anything else. Uh, we shouldn't talk too Sorry. much. Yeah. Let, let's I not talk too talk much. More, but Homegirl, you never shut up. I said we talk too much. Be hell to bay. Ugh, you're See, right. Sophie about business. Sophie about getting down rule. to the nitty gritty. It's not like clients guests would lose their minds seeing a maid walk through a hotel lobby. How do they think this place gets cleaned? Magic, probably. <laughs> yeah. Speaking <laughs> of yeah. cleaning, want to guess why I summoned you here? Hmm. Hmm. Something uh, to clean, probably. Something <laughs> I'm a maid. <laughs> Obviously. But what is it? Uh, did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it too. I was cleaning some of it. Got <laughs> uh, I'm gonna How did you feel you it? There. Keep talking and you'll be clean. How did that happen? Me too. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. Yay! This gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it. I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. You're gonna see her around. Manager's office, okay. So we got our, we got our journal. We got characters. That's annoying <laughs> for some reason. 
Okay, Bernard. Oh, that's a taking photo. Linda. I oh, said so that's what they look like. Look at the look at her, man. Like even her pictures hating, bro. Like that's a crazy photo you got. We got mom. We got dad. Left when I was two years old. That's crazy. When you were two years old, that's a crazy thing. All right, but but look look at her. Like at least she 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 probably. She probably, I don't know. Linda just look, she just look angry, bro. Who took that photo? Who, who sketched that out? That's what I want to know. My rag isn't getting me enough for Oh, I'm stupid. Why, why am I so dumb? Why, why am I actually this stupid? I just want to know. I just want to know why am I this dumb? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Why, why am I that dumb? I tried to clean it. Like, clearly I can't clean it yet. A look at him. is Bernard. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and huh, not just guests, apparently. Oh god damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen. If Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but Oh Wendy. Oh, that's why Wendy's hating. She thinks that I'm gonna try to take Oh Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was I mean, I'm sorry, I was just spying on our manager? No. I I <laughs> Is it spying on our manager? Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's okay. I'm, I'm just pulling one. your leg. I'm I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just I, I'm not used to having people. I'm sorry, you scared me too. Like, yeah, you're taking time, but I'm getting on my face. There, aren't you? <laughs> I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. This man is Don't not about that business. To clean up after the Valentine's and Day he knows call. it. Yeah, actually, Beth called me here. Uh, you were there during the ball. I heard it was a disaster. Um, actually, Beth no, called me here. Actually, Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase and made a mess in the lobby. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that catastrophe happen. Just what we need, huh? Well, I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the reception hall with Nicole. Oof. Yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but I didn't expect to find someone's shoe in there. How? What the heck? <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty of weird stuff. <laughs> Is it what? Yeah. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you <laughs> So she's gonna do a break like what? Something very odd, something gross, uh something about you. What? It's a something big gross, gross, I guess. Oh. It was a big gross. I hope it's got nothing to do with bodily functions. God. I hope so too. A few weeks ago I walked into a room and found the trash can filled with cucumbers. Like whole cucumbers and some of them were carved and I threw the whole trash can out that day don't tell Bernard I won't <laughs> is it don't tell Bernard oh Bernard I, I better go help Beth <laughs> it's hell here with the snowstorm it's okay I need to um, oh that would be annoying yeah. that would actually be annoying he looks like he would to do that too. too that's annoying for him on it sir Good morning, Louis walking away say AJ Styles. <laughs> AJ Styles. Give me an open wide. Let's talk. Oh, <laughs> I'm a team player. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Oh, Andrew. Look at Andrew, bro. Okay. Got to turn off on his last airing, latest airing, or burying himself in a book. So we haven't had a lot of chances to socialize at London. When we do, though, it's always feels easy like talking to someone perfectly attuned to your wavelength that's not like something they would say in 2023 talking about on my wavelength no one was talking like that on <laughs> back in 1950 59 like what are you talking about what are you going on about I feel like we're on the same exact wavelength shut up why am i being toxic all the time bro <laughs> like like what is wrong with me what is going on what, what's happening? What 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 changed in the past couple years? Toxicity level is just like through the roof, man. I, I hope I hope it doesn't get any worse than that. What's the little outside? There's something so peaceful about looking out at a storm from the inside. So wait, I guess sooner or later I'll be able to go outside. It looks like there's really nothing there for me to even do in the first place. So I don't really know why I would even do that. But 
All well. Pick up. Pick up. I said pick up. I said pick up. Pick up. Okay, hold on. Let me pick up. Throw away. So throw away. Why did I not expect that? Why not? I better make sure the floor is spotless. Someone could slip and hurt themselves. <sighs> um, I feel like I shouldn't have threw that away, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know, say no to divorce. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Oh, come on, it like goes out of. That's kind of cool how they did that, though. Dang, the lag, man. I, I might as well just have played on PC. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like a little stutter. It's, it's not like I understand, Mr. Ramsey. It's not like the worst I of the worst. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do. But sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can <laughs> check Mr. with Spade? the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes. <laughs> Why she moved in slow motion? Hey, is it? Until then. But <laughs> like, what? Why is she doing it like that? Like, what's going so, on? All right, Mr. Spade. So. <laughs> All right, I'm up. All right. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Mr. Spade. Where is well, Mr. Spade? Have to talk to my manager's manager. Did she say what room he was in? Oh, Mr. Spade! Where the heck is Mr. Spade? Oh, let me. Uh huh. Yes, certainly. Where is he at, Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade? Where the heck is Mr. Spade? All right. Oh, right here. I'm so stupid. Room five oh five. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Look at me. What? Guess? I'm sure he'll be very I gotta, I gotta, oh, I don't even know what Mr. Spade even looks like. Why? I'm just writing down people. Hold on, let me, um, let me clean this up real quick. I keep pressing X button. I always feel like I had to press the X button on everything. Because that's how most games are. Well, whatever. Um. So there was another, but that spell wasn't there before. But these kind of games, I just want to make sure I look at everything. Play as much as possible. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Cause I want to make sure I want to make sure we get the good ending, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get the good ending. We're still mm, not. That smell. It's a <clears throat> <laughs> Why does it sound like that? What was, that was crazy. Okay. Okay. Get blocked by the by the wall. I'm about to say by the brick. That's what I was gonna say for some reason. Come on, there Sophie. You're not gonna carry those plants around the hotel, are you? Let's put them back where they belong. What plant? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb as well to put them back into the joint, to the vase. I did pick them up, didn't oh, I? I forgot. All right, now I can go upstairs, right? All right, there we go. You know what would be pretty nice though? There was a run button. That that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been some great a. Uh, some grade A stuff going on. Okay, now I think we can go. There we go. My fault. My fault. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Hold it, please. <sighs> Phew. Made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch anything until he's repaired the leak, but... It's probably safer this way. Someone could have slipped on it. Exactly. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. Eugene. <laughs> All right. Well, that is one decision. I don't know if I should have had that happen. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, isn't hmm. that British man I keep hearing about? Why the girls complain? Isn't he famous? Why does he need snow? Why does yeah. Why does he need snow? Full of snow. No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. 
What do you reckon he'll do with it? As soon as he asks that question, as soon as he says he needs a whole room to himself, he needs a bucket of snow, it's time for me to start uh, questioning, start calling the police. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um. Hmm. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Is it you, Bernard? Please give me a hint. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's yeah, don't just leave me hanging. say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Is it you, Andrew? <laughs> is it you, Andrew? Sir. I sir, talk to me, bro. Room 505 is on my list. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. All right, let's go back in here. All right, it's already open. Why does this game... I know it's not a horror game, but, like, it already kind of, like, gets me on edge. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Is it Mr. Spade? Got the old uh, no signal TV going on because of the blizzard. Sorry, I had a little chill. Hmm. Hmm. Film rolls. Uh oh. Got that red room. What you got going on over here, Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade! Mr. Spade! I'm so annoying. Okay. Those are all pictures of me. Why? Tampering with objects? Well, let's not throw it away. Let's just keep it there. I ain't tampering with nothing. Whoa. <laughs> Why are there pictures of me, dude? What's going on, son? By the way, this is around the part where I stopped on the video. I was like, I, I have to. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? And then after this part, I don't know what happens because I, I. All right. Um, I know we blamed. I know we said. I know we said Andrew, but I feel like he he can. Yeah, yeah. Let's get Andrew. Let's get Andrew. I, I, I feel like I feel like we need to get Andrew. Can I speak to Andrew, please? Um. Yeah. Hold on. Andrew. Andrew. I'm here. I'm here. <clears throat> Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, are you okay? Hey, Sophie. Yeah, it's just. My trip to the sixth floor took longer than expected. Oh, Did it though? I'm sorry to add to your plate, but I really need your help. Sure. What's up? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Mr. Spade? <laughs> she seems very calm. Like, she doesn't even seem that bothered, actually. He caught me snooping? I found a I dark know. room. I ain't going somewhere. He, he caught took me pictures snooping. of me. I, I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room Jesus what are you doing in them exactly um I can't believe I'm about to say this but sometimes when I clean the rooms I get a little curious and um that you do you know, snoop I mean we knew the, uh, we knew these dudes a uh, whole plot we yeah, already knew he was a part of them the, the mob or something yes. like I think Mafia part four. Whoa, slow down a minute. <laughs> but Sophie, there 
are pictures of you invading our guests' privacy. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I believe you. I believe you. But mm -hmm. others might not. With those pictures, it could See, Andrew's kind of smart on that part. If a guest you know? were to complain about missing items. Exactly. I could throw the pictures out. I don't think that's a good idea. I really don't. So, so I do nothing. I just leave? Do nothing? That's not what I'm saying. But I think you should try to get a better understanding of the situation before you tell anyone. Mm. I've given photography a shot before. Really? Th at least I planned to. Did a whole lot of reading. And didn't quite get to the doing part. Anyway, the point is that Dark it's kind of funny like that everybody can be a photographer at this point. <laughs> <to set up. laughs> Seems unlikely that point he was still went like through all this niche. trouble just for a few pictures. I bet there are more of them somewhere. Mm, I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? There is a safe here. Um. Well, yeah, there is a safe. I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. That would certainly be a good place to store pictures. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Maybe I can. Give me a sec. Hmm. Does he have it? Shoot. What? Bad news is, I can't find the combination list. Good news is, we can probably do without it. Most guests write their code down to make sure they don't forget it. So. Say hmm. you wanted to look okay. for it. I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer return. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and Andrew? Thanks, Andrew. Yes? Please keep this between us. Of course. Don't worry about that. He- what the heck? Did you just see that? <laughs> he did not, or he is not going to keep it between us. Be French English. I keep forgetting we're in Montreal, Canada. The heck? Why are you looking in your face? Oh, it was directing me. I thought my I thought my controller was like messing up for a minute, but okay. Gah! Golly! Dang, Broski. Okay, so we're gonna expect some stuff. The lake? Oh, heck no. X marks the spot. But there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. <laughs> oh, heck no. What does that say? Why here? Is lots of burger places closer to the hotel? Good question. Why is it here? Okay, so we're not going to throw away anything. I don't know what would be the point of me throwing away something. These are evidence, ladies and gentlemen. You never throw away evidence. That's the dumbest thing you could possibly do in this situation. They really got a throwaway option. Like, this is his stuff, and I'm going to throw it away. He's going to know that I probably came up in here. If anything, I came up in here and tampered with it. No, no, thank you. We're not doing that. That's the dumbest decision. I picked up that new winter jacket for Mom. Hmm. Wait, is that... I should take a closer look. Wait, what? Any clues you picked up or throw away can be found in Sobe's journal. Okay. Wait. What well, can I leave then? Is that... I should take a closer look. Beaver Lake? That's where I took Mom's kitty in last month. These the look heck? like numbers. Sort of. I mean, they are. Is this a floor of the Clarington? Oh, that's, heck to the no. That's my schedule. Just how long have you been watching me? 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.? He knows everything? Whoa. Too far. Too far. Oh, heck no. Request to move to 5 Selection mode. Yeah. No surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Look at me snooping still. That's the crazy part. The funny thing is... 
I don't know why I just don't like the door being open. You know what I mean? I don't like that door being open. I don't know. We're not going to clean nothing. Nope. We're not making the bed. Dumb decision. To be honest with you, I think they shouldn't have even told me that because, like, get the thing open. All right. Close it back. Inspect this. Okay. That's Encyclopedia, the Def the Birds of North America. Fifth edition of Birds of North American Encyclopedia includes 10 new species and even more tips and tricks on how to recognize them. Born in 1894, Alfred K. Eaton is one of the world's most renowned, uh, renowned. I knew what it said. It doesn't even feel like read it no more. Hmm. 99th Infantry. Division, Belgium, November 1944. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, well, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. <laughs> Dang. Hold on. I understand your situation. Sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualifications for the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would ask you to not contact me anymore. Sincerely, Jeremy Sandberg. Dang, Mr. Morgan. So his name clearly is a Mr. Spade. It's Mr. Morgan. Something Morgan. Uh, hey, where else? Stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. You know, I have a lot of respect for what you, for what ha for what you and others have done for this country. But I am not a charity. If I don't receive the three, the past three payments, most payments. Hmm. I have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died. You have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Dang. That sucks. Scam ham spread. Scam is crazy. Something tells me you won't be missing this. Scam is crazy. Wait, hold on. What's this? Huh. Okay, return to sender Paul Morgan. Oh, that's his name, Paul Morgan. Elmwood, uh, 725 Elmwood Street, Clarksburg, West Virginia, 26306 USA. And uh, Lindsey Franklin, 30 Morris Sommer Street, Burlington, Vermont, uh, 05401 USA. There's nothing on the back. So, okay. Let me inspect this one more time. It's got to be a safe combination somewhere. The present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer request to room 507. Regrettably, the room in question is currently occupied by extended stay guests. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Please contact should you have any other requests. You okay. What is this? Lindsay's address, infantry. Oh. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Okay, so that's how we find it. Okay, so is Lindsay's address, address, uh, infantry division, and year of hospital discharge. Ah, oh, okay, got you. So we just read that quite literally. Okay, Lindsay's address. Infantry Division, Year of Hospital Discharge. Gotcha. Alright, Lindsay's address. What was that? 34. Jesus Christ, that scared the mess out of me. Okay. Answer the phone! <laughs> it may be mad. Who? Oh, Mr. Spade? No, no, he's not. Andrew? You said you'd call if he was coming back to his room. Right. Scared the mess out of me, bro. Right. Uh, sorry about that. Andrew, I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I I couldn't help but check in. Did you find more pictures of you? No, but I did find a map. I was about to open the safe. No, I haven't. I did we find a map, I though. Find something else. What is it? He's got a kind of young found map, a map though. Montreal on the wall. Whoa. Like they have in the movies? What is he tracking? Me, I think. The map's marked at a couple of spots. They're all places I visited recently. Jesus. Did you... Is that Jesus? Have you found anything on him? <laughs> Is that Jesus? 
Bisbee isn't his real name. He spent time in a psychiatric hospital. I know. I'll know more soon. Wait, what? I'll bring you back to the conversation point. Oh, I found okay, some gotcha. evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. Mr. Spade must be an alias. The Maltese mm. Falcon. The Mal what? I can't believe I didn't notice it earlier. The Maltese Falcon. It's a book centered around a private investigator named Sam Spade. Oh, mm. you don't think Mr. Morgan's a PI too, do you? Well, if he is, he's not exactly being subtle about it. It's like being a spy and using James Bond as a pseudonym. James Bond? Mm. It's from another book. Did you find anything else? I seen that he spent time in a psychiatric hospital. I'll know more soon. I, we we need to hurry up because I want to make sure he doesn't just bust in his room and be like, hey! Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is my name is <laughs> my name is Morgan, Mr. Morgan. Like, no. I'll call you back. I need to know more information. I'll let him know when I get downstairs. All right, thanks. Hey, Andrew, stop calling me, dude. I got something I got to do. Okay, so 34. That was her address. I remember that. Infantry. So that's what I need to figure out next. So I need to remember that is. I don't think it's any of this. No. I'm just gonna have to hurry up because I'm kind of getting scared now. Uh, that's not the infantry. Let's see here. Open this up. Was that there before? That wasn't there before, was it? 99. That's his infantry division. And year of hospital discharge. That's what it was. I'm gonna just try. Okay, so we already know it's 44. 4499. We know that already. Oop. Is it 58? Cuz uh, that's all that's all the numbers I keep seeing. Damn it. Come on, Sophie. What is it? Bro, when he <laughs> thirty four Summer Street, Lindsay's address. I got it wrong the first time. <laughs> I put 44, it was 34. Here we go. Take me a while. What the? What's that? First of all, there's a gun in here. That's number one. Hey, Sophie, you should probably put this down. No. <laughs> There's up. All right. What the heck? Arrived at the hotel. Okay, so this is November. November. This is February 14, 1958. 12.30 a.m. Arrived at the hotel. Ready, not ready yet. Room not ready yet. Had to wait in the lobby. M and H came in, both nicely dressed. M was holding a flower bouquet. Uh, heard them talking to the receptionist saying how nice the oratory was. Picked up some flowers to find out what oratory they were talking about. Room finally ready, no sign of M and or H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. Still no sign of M and H. Have probably gone out again. Finished developing this afternoon's pictures. Unable to sleep. Heard weird noises from the corridor. No idea who or what it was. Ooh. That was taken in the lobby. That's a Chris Bahan picture. I'll tell you that much. How on like Taco Bell. That was taken in the lobby. Yeah, it was taken in the lobby. Okay, we let that. I guess, I guess that's all we had to say from that one. Inspect. Okay, so that's more film. That's more film. I should make sure I've checked every page of the journal. Oh, is there more? Oh, my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Hold on. I did? 
check every page of the journal. What else do they want me to do? I know that. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, y'all, my bad. Emily arrived at the hotel's restaurant and find out what M and H are up to, don't you? Okay, I guess we don't have to read all that. She's just going to just talk over me anyway. And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. Yeah, there is a lot of questions. This looks like Beaver Lake. That is Beaver Lake. Ooh. Okay, I think we're done. Yep. So I close this back. Can we close this? Closing the back. Good stuff. Okay, I don't think. Can we just leave? I should call reception. M and H could be in danger. Oh. Okay. I mean, well, the dude is uh is a spy, so you know. Yeah, I probably should just call him first, though. <laughs> Seems like common sense. My bad, y'all. That's common Clarington sense. Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. It's me. Oh, oh hey. I'm back. Uh, just a sec. Beth, could you cover for me? Uh, again. Pretty please. Sorry about that. So, I take it you opened Morgan's safe. What was in it? I found a journal. Uh, I need your help again. Actually, I need your help again. Of course. What's up? I found out Mr. Morgan isn't only stalking me, but two other people as well. Two other staff mm. members? Who is Why it? is that mm, I already I literally just yes. was playing a game? <laughs> they would just have. I, I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you alright? Of course. Uh, sorry. I'll, um... I'll, I'll just need some more info to narrow the search. What do you know about them? They refer to them. And they're a couple. I found a transfer request to 507. Let me go with I that found first. Out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507, but it was denied because. That's Mrs. Beaumont's room, right? Exactly. But why would he switch rooms? He's got his entire mm. dark room set up in 505. I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. I guess we can keep that in mind, but I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Uh, they're Mr. referred to as H and M. As H and M. It could be initials, or maybe I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. yeah, I haven't thought of that either. Wait a minute. There's a couple staying in room five oh nine. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector mm. and H and M. My thoughts exactly. Mm, what do we know about them? Why is Mr. Morgan talking them? How are they linked to me? It's not all about you. About <laughs> it's not all about me. Well, Relax. I was there when they checked in. But what about me, though? Like, ask churches. about them. <laughs> I remember noticing that Mr. Cruz wears the same cologne as my father, but... That's not much to go on. Yeah, I know. Okay, dude. Do you perhaps have room 509 on your to-do list? I do, actually. Would it be Perfect then. Of me to suggest you do some snooping? I guess that's what I'm known for now. Nah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find a better legacy for you. I'll call you if I find. Like going to jail. Sure. All right. I will. I promise. Uh oh, it's getting real. It's getting real. Oh, she left in the break room, so I had to go back downstairs. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wait, what's this? Sorry. I want to expect everything. Frosted pops? What the heck? Alright. <clears throat> Alright, let me call the elevator. Told you it was going to be like a calm, calm join. This is sit out. Okay, now we're all the way down here. Different level, different level, different level. Yeah. 
Linda's not exactly. Uh, Why screaming? He's like, yeah. Hitching, like, I heard you. Around, trying to Come down a little bit. One piece. Okay. Why did she leave the key in the break room? What kind of idea was that? Oh, someone's watching me. Wait, are they? Hypocrite. Whoa. That's a wild message. That's a wild message. What did Linda do? And to whom? Wow. Oh, Linda. What would your husband think of all this? What does that say? My wife would be at her parents tonight, so come by my... Wait, what? Wait, Linda. My wife will be at her at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. Make sure you bring the new lingerie. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, I guess we can clean. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy that he had that on there. Hold on, throw that away. She was kind of she was kind of acting crazy with him though, so I don't know why. I don't know why I'm throwing that away. She was kind of acting a little bit crazy. I should have kept that there, to be honest. Why am I knocking on here? What is it, Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you all right? Do I sound all right? I. No, I guess not. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I overheard you, and uh, I'm sorry for your for disturbing you. Who wrote Linda's door? I yeah, was I did in over here, y'all. And um, I couldn't help but overhear your argument with Jacques. I'm sorry he let Linda get to his head. He, he should be trusting you, not her. Yeah. Well, I know I wouldn't be your first pick, but I'm here if you need to talk. See you later. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it right now. I, I'm sorry I was rude. It's okay. It's all right, Wendy. You know, you. It, 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 yeah. it's all about reconciliation. Thank you. You're welcome. See, see, that's what it's all about, y'all. That's what it's all about. Hold on. Let me go to my journal. Film reminder, Paul's gun, yup. Exactly. Oh, well, let me go back real quick. Wait, let me see. Eugene. I'll get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what is Wendy? Oh, that's Wendy. Okay, Linda's right here. That's Wendy. Got you. Man, get out of here. I didn't even hear them argue. What am I talking about? What was I going on about? Had her hands full lately. All right, let me just go do my job. Um, hold on. We got break room. Right. The master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into 509 now. Yeah, you locked yourself with the master key. Like that's kind of crazy and dumb. Hey, Sophie. Oh, hmm. uh, hey, Andrew. On break already? Uh, no, no. Not that's yet. a break room I in the basement. To something to our VIP <laughs> that's a crazy place to have a break room. Yeah. The requests just keep on coming. Scary behind break room. You? You probably have rats down there just nibbling at your feet. <laughs> While you eat your food, like I could continue our that's a crazy break room. Has ah, gotcha. What a day, huh? Tending to an eccentric VIP guest, discovering mm. uh, well, what you discovered in 505. Pretty exciting. <laughs> we discovered in 505. <laughs> You're yeah, annoying. That's definitely. Are <laughs> ten ten? <laughs> That's not all, though. I just saw something on Linda's door. I just spoke to Wendy in the bathroom. I, I saw I someone on Linda's door. Keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. No way. What is it? The words hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. Mm. I wonder who could have written it. Call this an educated guess, but Wendy has a pretty solid motive to me. You'd have to be living under a rock to miss how Linda's been treating her lately. 
Wendy shouldn't have done that. Linda's being too harsh. If Bernard hears about this, I don't want to get involved. Yeah, I don't really want to get involved. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. I already got enough yeah, stuff I'm involved. We already got pictures of me uh, take, playing that Snoop game, you know? Makes for a good read, but in real life, it can be a bit much to deal with. You've always been good at staying above it, though. You get along with everyone. Some people are easier to get along with. It's like my mom always taught me. Uh, thanks. I mean, yeah, some people are easy to get along, along with. with. Everyone. But some people are worth getting friendlier with. Like you. Oh, thanks. Okay. I'm glad not everyone around here thinks I'm a complete Listen, y'all. I'm trying to help Wendy. That's a Wendy. I'm trying to help <laughs> Sophie out, you know? I'm, try I'm well, trying to... It was nice to chat. Don't I'm trying to get her in her bag, too. To you know what I mean? Maybe Eugene can <laughs> I'm trying to get her her bag. Yeah, we both I'm trying to help her out. Plates today. I'll be ready and waiting for your updates on H and M. She got yeah, a lot on her plate and they don't know what it is. <laughs> Leave basement, stay a little longer. What what other reason why I need to be here? <laughs> Go stairs. Maybe I should have stayed. Ooh. Can I go back down? Okay, be lit up. All right, we're going 509. Maybe I should have stayed. See, when you get questions like that, it's like, darn, maybe I should have stayed, actually. Wait, what's down here? Oh, it's just a blockage. Dirt! <laughs> Look at outside. Dirt! Getting mauled out there. All right, let's open this up. Taking me off the Moses that no one wants to talk about Westons. Happy holidays from the Prince family. <laughs> Happy holidays. See, this is her problem. She don't know how to close a gosh dang door. That's what she don't know how to do. Like, close the door. She's trying to get caught. It's like she I did not mean to clean that. Well, GG's, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're dead. Didn't mean to clean that up. That's crazy. Hmm. I love how they had to show me that. Like, I, I could literally just walk up and do that. What up? I'm not down out there yet. Okay, we got something else. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking straight behind me every time. Cause like it might be somebody that's in the shadows, just like this is like this in the shadows. Expect it. Okay. Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Mm. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Yikes. Okay. Uh, we wish to apologize on behalf of our company for a privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September, and thank you for calling it on our attention to our attention. We are currently investigating. Uh, the breach and trying to understand how this individual was able, able to obtain your personal information Excuse me rest assured that we will put measures in place that make sure the situation does not repeat itself Your privacy is and always will be one of our top priorities sincerely Harold Fernie and John Wiseman Wow I blame you for seeking help. I d these scribbles don't look random, but I can't figure out what they mean Fernie and Wiseman I wonder what it is they do. I mean... That is a good question, though. What what do they do? Locked. Of course it it's locked. Like the code code is I thought it was blood on the floor. I was supposed to say, Four letters. <laughs> I'm about to say, rest in peace, everyone. Alright, we're gonna open this up. Dang, why they got all these bras and everything in here? On the floor, like... What's going on? Lysol. A little oil, sorry. I said Lysol. <laughs> like, shut up. Close it back. It's kinda, it's kinda hard to, like, open and close, because, like, some parts is, like... You know? That's all. Close. Alright, nothing in there. You got some white gloves in there, but she didn't want to make any mention of that. Going on her. Check all the drawers at all times. There was stuff out there I didn't see yet, so 
You know, there's, there's more. There's more to discover. What are these? Nothing. Nothing important. Uh huh. What is this? To read. Wait, what? Whoa, it says murder. Hold on. Oh, to read. It had to be murder. Wait, what? Whoever wrote this is as much a reader as they are a doodler. Okay. At first, I thought I thought it was getting ready to get serious, y'all. She just want to mention. She just want to mention this part, but then like everything else is just like secondary to her. You don't see someone withdraw five thousand dollars every day. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? These symbols, they look oddly familiar. Oh, the scribbles. Can we read that already? So the accounts in your name and the statements tucked away in your jewelry box. That's awfully secretive, Mrs. Cruz. Hmm. This looks I'm just looking at everything just to make sure, you know? I wonder if he's <laughs> read this one. Particularly was tracking her instead. She thought she was tracking a killer, but the killer was tracking her instead. Oh, that's wild. Something to take into account, everyone. Why am I nervous to walk around here? Like, I know this isn't even a horror game. Alright. Interact. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Yeah, you definitely should. Okay, nothing important. Just that. Everyone got a holy Bible in wow. here because it's the 50s. You look like a couple out of a magazine. February 14, 1948, apparently. These pearls, they look absolutely gorgeous on you. Though, I bet you could make anything look good. So really, she's trying to live out her life. Like, relax a little bit. <laughs> okay, we got a phone in here. So that's kind of good, I guess. 19 and resonant. I said resident. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. Okay. Save your marriage would Okay, has been endorsed for more than six years by scientists, medical professors, and many other men who have women's hygiene at heart. Huh. Does your personal hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? <laughs> That's what that's about. I'm not sure how the I did not mean to pause it again. Oh, my new home. This wait, is wait, wait. horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. That's a good question, dear Sophie. Let's look at these. The person looking for you back in Texas. Dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed. And so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met <laughs> Anna uh, in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Uh, imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. You would have your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he is one of your colleagues from work. But I am not sure I told him you were in Montreal. We'll be back next week. When do you come back? Exactly. I hope you <laughs> can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake, your mother. Mom, like you're tipping off this dude, bro. What are you doing? Respect. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting fancy. SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Hmm. This is getting kind of it's getting kind of scary. Okay. Are we good with this? I think that was all the ones I could look at, right? 
First step should be to tidy up a bit. Searching a clean room is easier than searching a messy one. Should I really clean the room? Oh, am I supposed to clean the room? My fault, y'all. My fault. Is the phone ringing? Call. Okay, no, it's not. I, th I think it's uh, my mom's TV right now. Okay, so I think I actually am supposed to clean up the room. My bad, y'all. Guess we can clean up. Looks like someone tore that note apart. I actually didn't really want to clean it, to be honest with you, but that's okay. Right whatever. And I cast, so I kind of did already tamper with the thing anyway. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. I'm not going to throw it away. I don't really want to throw it away. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, wait, what the heck is going on? Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. It's more to... Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for more torn papers? That's that's the whole thing right here? I mean, I don't even know what else you want me to clean. <laughs> that's the thing. What is this? Hector Cruz. Okay, protect the dream. Assurance agent? Ah, so he's an assurance agent. Huh. Pick up. Oh, we're supposed to be picking up. Oh, God. Okay. Hello? Oh, my gosh. Hello? Andrew? Is, is, is that you? Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. I'm get. Let's get out of here. Go to the front desk. Hang up. Call reception. Call reception. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew? Hey, Sophie. Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Someone just called, and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. That's pretty unsettling. Uh, hang on. Hey, Beth, have you got a minute? No. Give me a second, Sophie. Yeah, I should have okay. went to the front desk. So Beth tells me she just patched a call through to 509. Did she recognize the caller's voice? Do you think maybe it was Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Hmm. Let me check. Hmm. Okay. It was a male voice, but she's not sure whether it was Mr. Morgan's or not. Hmm. Anything Did you else? Notice anything else? She says it sounded like a bell rang in the background, like an elevator bell. So she assumed whoever was calling was one of our guests. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I get why you're on edge, but I don't see any way he could know you're in 509. I haven't spoken to anyone about this. I know. I know you didn't. Can you ask Beth not to patch any calls here for a while? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so... Bro, I, I don't... Do it. Wait a second. I just remembered something about this morning. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think about it before. What is it? A few minutes after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby, I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel all alone. Mmm. Really? Yeah, what time was it exactly? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think it was a minute or two after 10. Hmm. What? I just, I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like a, a door slamming really hard. Mm. Maybe. Did you notice anything weird about her? I don't yeah. Know. She passed by the front desk so fast I barely had time to see her. Although. Yeah? I've always seen the cruises as a pair. I suppose it is a bit odd that she left without her husband. Maybe she yeah. was sneaking out. Or maybe she was following Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for an info, though. I can make sense <laughs> of all of this. this is crazy, man. 
Give me a call as soon as you This is giving me ner this is getting okay. I'm getting nerve wracking, dude. This is nerve wracking. Info. Oh god. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. Nothing. Okay. I'm not going outside at all, man. Like that. There we go. Piece it together, Sophie. Piece it together. Piece it together, y'all. Piece it together. <laughs> Piece it together. The heck is going on here? Oh, God. Here we go. Hold and grab and move peace. Oh, God. This? Yeah, then this. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's some kind of code. Could I break it? Hmm. Man, that that was like wow. That was like wow. Inspect. Wait, what? Okay, so what did he want me to do about it, though? She, she she looked in the room like I already looked in there. It's like mad late about it. Snoop around to find missing symbols. To find missing symbols? That wow. yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Symbols, maybe. Oh, I think I know. I know. I remember one of these. Oh, it was this one. These symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. That's one of the symbols. That's one of the symbols. That's one of the symbols. Oh, these symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. Okay, so SOS. Is this Morris code? What kind of code is this, dude? <laughs> okay, so eight. So SOS. What is it, equal five? Is that what they're saying? Every day creates your history. I mean, Mr. I say history. Miss Story. Okay, I didn't see this part. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Okay, so you can. More of these symbols. Just what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We got it. I we got keep it. an eye out for those symbols. So it's pretty much in everything. Like everything that we read, though this whole entire thing is pretty much all there. It's not in the photo right there. I don't think. All right. Yeah. There's nothing. Nothing on here. Maybe open this up because I think was there something in here? S W. Okay, that's just a point. I think she has. She has absolutely nothing to say about that. Got you. Got you. So you got nothing to say? Cool. Got you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so I wrote down everything that... Okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. That makes a lot of sense. So... Five... Is O. So let me let me start putting that in there. So five is O. P. Where's P? P. Is. Hold on. P is um. Plus sign. Select symbol. Hold on. Oh, plus is P. Wait, 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 wait. Reset, reset. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, y'all. My bad. Mr. I didn't mean to press that. On the wall of plus sign. My bad. There are some peculiar doodles, symbols, maybe. No, P. No, that was right. So that was right. Huh. Hmm. 
G is N. Let me reset that. If I press that one more time, G, G is N. I don't even see a G. So, there were some doodles on his thing. But I gotta find him now. Because I do. Hold on. Okay, now on that one. And I know there wasn't any on that one. Was it on this one? <sighs> okay. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont. Wait, wait, wait. Who's on the back of that? He could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Oh, okay. That was from earlier. All right. We already did that. All right. <clears throat> Make sure you take your pills. I already seen that. What up, y'all? Already seen that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it in the safe? I think it was in the safe. Was it in the safe? Maybe it was up here. Okay, that's the lake thing. Uh huh. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Yeah, so I can use that. Boom. There's more that I definitely remember. More of these symbols. Just what mm -hmm. I was looking for. What do you want from me? Alright, so A. Let me see something right quick. So we got more, but I don't know, bro. Like. So A is two, but I don't see any, any A's, so I don't know what you're talking about. So O is five. Five is O. Five is O. Two is A. Is there any twos? There is. Um, okay, what do we have? That's what I need to find. Do we have any S's? So, so what I need to look for, I need to look for the letter, not the number. I mean, well, yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, because you can't do the equal sign or anything like that. So if it's equal... Okay, so there is an eight. Eight is V. V. Um, I think W is eight. Yeah, W is eight. Wait, hold on. There's two different ones. That's a V. This is V. My bad. This is V. Hold on, let me try that again. This is V. This is W. I think four is gonna be I. It is. I, I'm I'm so stupid. It literally says it right there, and I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, I'm literally looking at it. Okay, this is I. I will. Okay, so we already know this is I will. I will. So the lyric, yeah, that's an L. So I will. Not I wick. I <laughs> I will was three. Do we have a three? No, it looks like we don't have a three yet. So I will. Okay, some 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 some. G. There is no. So we're looking for letters, actually. We don't have quotation marks. P. So plus equals P H. Okay, we we don't have any of those symbols yet. I will. Man, I have no idea. What makes sense? Let's look for a letter that makes sense. <laughs> That's how I'm going to cheat the system. We're going we're going to see which one makes more sense. I will leave. Okay, I will leave. So three is leave. 
There's a few of these. Let's see if R makes sense. That's not 11. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. There's one that I missed. There's one that I missed. Hold on, y'all. That's an H. In the... Okay, so... I might actually figure this out beforehand, actually. This is a T. Okay, so notes. I will leave the notes. So equal is N, right? Yeah, or oh, it's S. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even see that. It was all the way in the cut. <laughs> That's wild. All right, so I will leave the notes. Boom. And the event next. All right, so W is X. W is going to be X. Next to. Dang it! In the rest, I don't know. I will leave the no I will leave notes in the vent next to seven. I have no idea what seven is, so that's kind of the problem. <laughs> I I haven't seen a seven yet, so we need to still look for it. Or I don't I don't I don't know, man. I I, I feel like I looked everywhere. That's the crazy part. I hate these kind of games sometimes, where it's just like you feel. I'm not necessarily lost, but I like feel like I looked at everything already. Like, what else do you want me to look at? There's nothing. There's literally nothing else for me to see. I can't believe it, bro. I can't believe it. That that makes a lot of sense now. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I couldn't do it, man. I, I I was getting really stuck right there. I will leave Bump the that. The Bump that. Next to your room. Bump that. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. It's me. Sophie. Did you uncover anything in 509? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. What? Awesome. Uh, did you crack it? It says, I will leave notes in the vent next mm. to your room. In the vent? What an odd thing to do. Yeah. And whoever the message Ain't got was for 2023, man. I want to figure that out. That, that was, it was torn woo, in a dozen was pieces me. and scattered in three different trash cans. Hmm. So the cruises are keeping secrets. There's a long behind gameplay, too. You think maybe one of them's <laughs> having an affair? Yes, it could be an affair. No, I think it's blackmail. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, it could be an affair. I, I can see that. Well, that's possible. It's quite obvious they're having marital problems. What makes you say that? Couch bed. I'm pretty sure the husband was sentenced to sleeping in the living room. I found a pillow and some sheets on the couch. Don't you think he might have fallen asleep in front of the TV? I know my dad does that a lot. Often with the volume turned way up high. Drives my mother crazy. Did you find anything else? Uh, I have this maid instinct. I need to check that event. Not really. I just have this maid yeah, instinct. Yeah, I have that maid instinct. A maid instinct? <laughs> What's that? Well, after a couple of years working as a maid, you become quite good at gauging guests by the state of their room, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. And what does room 509 tell you? I've cleaned the rooms of many happy, loving couples. This isn't one of them. It feels... 
cold. Go check the vent, lady. All right. So what now? I think I should go and have a look at the thank vent you. that's mentioned in the message. <laughs> well, I'm not saying thank you, and I, I'm thank the you. one that told her to go talk it's more and more. break time for me. If you need my help again, you Start can ask slapping them to the break room. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your break. Thanks, Look Sophie. at the... Look at that Corey. That one's going crazy for no reason. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? The message said next to your room. So it has to be a vent in the corridor. Hmm. Bernard, whoa, you crazy devil. Wait, is it this? Hmm. Oh. Was that even open before? All the supplies I need. Yo, Bernard, why are you kissing? That was probably not a good Oh, he's up in there? Bernard. Do not disturb. Well, that's one less room to clean today. Dang, oh, dang, okay. dang. Holy. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. We're going to clean this real quick. It up. Clean, 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 clean. Sorry for the mess. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at all this, bro. Like, they're so hype. What was all that? Okay, we don't really gotta expect all that. Black. Dang! He was having a good time in here. Food and everything? Like, let me get some. Let me get some food. I'm hungry too. Dang, son. Pick up. Place pillow. Pick up. Place pillow. Pick up. <laughs> Place pillow. Alright, there's one more missing. Dang, dude. Dude, not playing up in here. Hold on. The message said next to your room, so it has, oh, it has to be the vent in the car door. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little ticked off by hearing her say that over and over again. My bad, yo. You know, even though uh, Bernard kind of, you know, doing some crazy stuff right now, I will say that I feel a little bit more safer with him being up here with me. Crazy, right? I think I think we clean all of this, right? I think I think everything's clean. Everything looks clean. I said queen. Everything looks clean. Oh, nope. Gotta get that off. Look at all this, bro. Get that stuff down from here. Get that stuff down from here. Stop, dude. There is a vent near the janitor's closet. That'd be a good place to start. Didn't I go over there to look at the janitor's closet before? I definitely was at the janitor's closet in the first place. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. But which vent? That's definitely... Oh. Oh. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Can't go to the janitor's closet. Go look at the vent next to it. Okay, dude. Can't open these without a screwdriver. Of course. <sighs> now we're going... Where will we find a screwdriver? <laughs> Bernard, uh, um, now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. We have a, oh, place out. We have a screwdriver. Let's put those on the bathroom. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. I might be able to find a screwdriver in the janitor's well, what? closet. Hold on. Oh, now it opens. Okay, dude. What the heck? Okay, buddy. Good. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? Really? Nothing. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? Eugene must be down in Bernard's office. I should go ask him okay. for a screwdriver. This is a prologue to video game. <laughs> this is a prolong to video game, apparently. All right, so gonna go down to his office, Bernard. Let's go. Huh. Uh oh, 
I'm I'm uncovering secrets, you uh Mafia 2002 video game character. <clears throat> it's uh Miss Bellevent, isn't it? What? Oh, um right. Oh, right. Uh oh. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to uh take care of your sister, I think. Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring hmm. thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Uh, and it gets a lie. No, I need a screwdriver. No, I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, loose vent. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes. You're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay. I will. <clears throat> Dude, shut up. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Andrew. Andrew, you oh. gotta stop doing that, man. Sorry. <laughs> you get, you gotta chill out a little bit. You gotta stop. Today. It's time to stop. Spying on this gameplay is long, no, bro. I'm looking for a screwdriver for the vent. I Linda didn't mean to make it this long. I want to apologize. Ah, gotcha. Eugene? What the, what the heck? Uh, maybe you should go have a look. You know what? I'll, I'll stand guard by the elevator and, um, holler if Bernard approaches. Dang, what, what is it? What am I, investigator now? <laughs> this is all in one day, by the way. May I add? Oh, come on, you just stand in there. You literally, you literally went to T-Pose. Annoying. Well, there is the, uh, screwdriver. Hmm. Opposing something that could help so many. So, I take it the open window was not the an heck? accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. I did thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarenton Hotel and Weston's department store. Thanks to your generous help, renovations. Or well underway and the hotel has never looked better. You should come visit okay, you cross that out. Um on another note, it has been informed a group of local businessmen to oppose the construction of a new mental hospital after working so hard to elevate the Claritin standards, I cannot allow a band of cuckoos <laughs> to move in in my backyard. Okay. First of all, let's pick this up as a screwdriver. Uh -huh. Let's get you to that fence. Let me go and clean this up, I guess. I probably should have kept it there, actually, but whatever. Hmm. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to I should have really that. kept it in there, to be honest. Was that all I really needed? I feel like that's all I needed. I don't really need to look at anything else, do I? Yeah, I don't think I need to look at anything else. I think we're good. Kind of wish I worked here when Raymond was in charge. Sounds like the hotel was very different. Okay. Back then. Well, just look at these distinguished gentlemen. Yeah, we can and just leave. A young Bernard. Do you remember that loose tile from last week? Yes. Well, uh, I'm afraid it hasn't been properly repaired. What do you mean? I mean that um, it's still broken, sir. Someone hurry put up, Sophie. Hurry it, up. Still here Stop playing. I'm just checking to make sure. Guests don't trip over it. Uh, is that part of your job description? Um, no. No, it isn't, sir. Well, then I suggest you stop worrying about Miss Bellevet. Did <laughs> he call me Miss Bellevet again? I wasn't someone left the door or door. I was looking for a screwdriver. I wasn't... I was, yeah, I'm going I to lie on this closing one. closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Oh. Huh. Must have been Eugene. Well, don't you have work to do? Yes, sir. Then get to it. then get to it. Oh, Mrs. Drake has asked to see you. Again? Just indulge her. Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such loyal guests. Very well, sir. This is already annoying me. <laughs> like, get out of here. 
So we cannot afford to lose any more gas. Oh my gosh. Whew. I think my heart stopped beating there for a moment. Yeah, me too. But at least I found what I was looking for. Perfect. Now, I should probably get to it before... You know, <laughs> I've seen a car go drive through. Was that like a big... It looked like a pickup truck. <laughs> this is 19... Uh, 58 or something. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're going to get to it. Time to see what secrets that vent is holding. Oh. Let's uh, go upstairs. Oh, right. Can I talk to her? Be there. <laughs> okay, be on the phone. Be like that. I'll have someone... Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Wait, was this open before? Or just Oh, I could have just walked over here this whole time. I literally just went in like a big circle for no reason. Got you. <laughs> all right, call elevator. Let's go upstairs after all this time. Are they trying to get fancy with the cutscenes? Are they fancy, huh? Are they fancy, huh? This is a really good mystery game, honestly. It, it's just some of the puzzles are kind of like it's not hard. It's just like where the heck was I supposed to find the last one? The briefcase thing, I didn't even see the key at first. So, like, I'm not even going to hold you. That was annoying. Alright, bro bro is not on the, um, it's not in this room anymore, so, you know. I wonder if I can go in here. Oh, oh I can. I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But, that's where Bernard oh, and Linda snap. were. Oh, snap. Ew. Oh, snap. Why is there so much tissues, bro? What are you doing? What was he doing in here? Whoa. Ain't no signs of anybody up in here. So you could have... Okay. Got you. Got you. What was he doing in here? Sir. Alright, here we go. Rotate. Oh, there you go. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a child. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't get it at first. I ain't going with you. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. It was a hard time. All right. Let's read it. What's the note? Oh my god. I have to decipher something else. If I see this, discuss. So that's a D. That's a D. Discuss our plan. Okay. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. All right. That one was actually not that hard. <laughs> we need to, maybe tonight, tonight in my room, Michael will be Michael sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Got gotcha. you. We need to discuss our plan. That was a lot more faster than the last time. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> a lot more of a quicker, uh, quicker situation. Carrington Hotel Reception Desk. Andrew speaking. It's me. Hey, hey, you got anything good for me? Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. annoying. Oh man, my leg. Oh, can you look up a guess? I found another secret message. Um, I found another secret message. I'm telling I found another message written in secret code. And it says, "Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss mm -hmm. our plan." Who's Michael? A guest's husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Yeah, the cast keeps getting bigger. I'll just check the logbook. Better find something this time. There's a Michael staying in room 507. 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets mm. the other day so he could build a fort. That's really nice of you. So, Mrs. Beaumont is linked to the cruises, huh? Ah. I have a feeling we may be approaching the climax of this story. I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. How about I call up there? 
you know, to make sure no one's mm. home. Good idea. Just a sec. <laughs> Look at the phone cord. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this is glitch. Why are you glitching? Look at that. Vincing your spleen. What? Alright, we're gonna just say vincing my spleen. That's crazy. Alright, here we go. Time to get into room 507. Open up the dough. Uh oh, there's a suitcase there. She loves walking into rooms and not closing them back. Like close it back so you don't get caught. She just looks. She just stares. Looks around the stairs. Like close it back. Dang. Ah, oh, it's for the kid. Got you. It's a pencil. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I promise it's not you. Dang. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry, but mom asked me to tell you the name of the, our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have little, two little beds, a radio, and even television. Mom let me build it for it, and the maid bought us extra blankets. She's really nice. <laughs> That's me. Uh, the hotel is nice, too, but I miss home. I wish mom and you could be happy. I wish everything could go back to the way it was before. But mom says it's impossible. She says she no longer loves you. Do you think she'll ever stop loving me, too? Dang, that's like that's a crazy. Uh, that's a crazy thing to say to your child. I, I don't I don't love your father. Like, dang, you don't got to know that. You know, you, you can keep that a secret to a few years. You know, all he knows is his dad, dad and mama. You tell me you don't love him. Like, so you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Mm. Hmm. She tried. She tried. Um, did Marcella send this? It doesn't say. Okay, but I do that one more time. All right, so that's that. Oh. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with okay, be laid all up. the time. Don't talk about it. Locked. Eh, of course. <laughs> Chris got to find a key, ladies and gentlemen. Of course. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be them if we had to. If we didn't have to find a key. And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong. Ugh. Wait, what? Huh? Ah. So Fernie and Wiseman are publishers. Interesting. Ah, so Fernie and Wiseman are publishers. I mean, that's a good thing to know, I guess. I mean, now we know that secret. Everybody has a Bible. Was that like a fixture in old hotels back then? Like, does every place, every hotel had a Bible? I mean, I'm not, you know, obviously I ain't complaining because hallelujah, you know. Glory be to God. <laughs> You know what I mean, y'all? Well, I'm just saying. I just found it interesting because I, I I never if they did I, I never knew that honestly, and I'm a, I'm a history buff, but like, the heck? Hold on. You almost look like Marcella. I wonder what's happening right now. So many questions. So are they connected? I know lipstick marks are a pain to scrub off, but they're kind of charming. I mean, we're just going to leave it there. We're not doing anything. Black. Is there any keys over here? Looks like someone grew tired of looking Dang, at Dang, she face, really, she Mr. really Brown. hate that man. My golly. Pick up the ring. Okay, love the graphics. Here's a note. All but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. It doesn't matter where you're, dang lawyer. You've got some 
kahunas accuse me of all that as if you were so unreproachable <laughs> yourself do you think i don't know where you spend your nights but worst of all is that you won't let me see my son you won't even tell me where he is if you think you have a chance to get custody you really don't know me well i won't let you take mike away from me so here's the thing though she's saying she's saying all that but like is he abusive because like I, I i probably missed something hold on Oh my gosh, bro. I don't see no keys. <laughs> I don't see any type of keys. Is that a key right there? Uh -huh. Keys are Snoop's best friend. We'll pick it up then. That's one of them at least. Sounds like this is from your Actually, school I think I think they are supposed to The name of the singer is smudged. I'll need another key oh, to unlock God. this. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Now, where would the other key be? I didn't open these yet? Why did I thought I opened them already? I thought I did this already. I guess not. That key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room 505? 505? Oh, I can't open that. I'm stupid. 505. Do I need to go back into 505? I wonder if it's that key that opened up the other one. I think this was a knife. Yeah, it was a knife. Can I use this one? I don't think I'll need this again. Okay, no. Apparently... What is he talking about? Did... She said I associated with 505. There was no key in here, except for that one. What is she going on about? Oh. I mean, is this one? This is the only other key I could pick up, though. I ain't never seen a key in here, if I'm being completely honest. So I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I, I quite literally don't know what she's talking about. We pick up what? What am I picking up when she's laying down? I don't know. It told me to pick up something, but I don't even know what it was. Alright, let's pick this up, I guess. I don't know. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a... safe? Was it really in a safe? It wasn't in the safe, was it? There was no key in... There's no key in here. There you are, with Marcella. God knows where she is. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. Sophie, crazy timing. I've got something for you. Hmm. Oh, what is it? I heard a certain Mr. Cruz and a Mr. Morgan had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who told you that? Shock did. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get hmm. involved, and it sounds like we were on the right track. What in the world? Because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Can you guess what it is? Blackmail? Um, blackmail? Blackmail? No. <laughs> Affair. Hmm. How bad was the fight? I think Jacques got in the middle of it before it got too intense. But he said Mr. Cruz looked like he was about to kill Mr. Morgan. Mm. So Mrs. Cruz must be having an affair with him, right? And her husband found out? Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. 
I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. What about the second one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that open a chest with two hmm. locks? Okay, there's definitely something... This is getting wrong. interesting. I think they're having the affair. <laughs> Maybe they're just good friends. The answer probably lies in that chest. I do think so. Yeah, but the answers probably lie in that chest. And I don't think I'll be able yeah, to Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Mm, probably. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, if you get me a candle and some plaster, I may be able to do something about that chest. Mm. How? I'll tell you later, okay? Just find those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I can. All right. Candle and a plaster. Thank you for not giving up. I would never give up on you. All right, Andrew. Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. I should be able to find plaster somewhere around here. All right, so we're going to have to look for a candle and plaster. We already know that stuff is not in here. Oh, I can go in here. Okay, cool. All right. Dana has a big lag. <laughs> Biggest lag in the, in, the, in the history of our business. Oh, this is the first room I was in this morning. Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? All right, what did she say again? Didn't I see a plaster bag near the stairs earlier? Near the stairs? What stairs? Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. I should she be. She said near the stairs, but like, here. where was the stairs even at? <laughs> where where are the stairs at? She's talking about near the stairs. Didn't I see a plaster bag near the stairs earlier? What stairs? Plaster bag. I was trying to see if I could look around here to see it. Can I call for them? With the renovations, there has to be plaster somewhere on this. Where is the plaster? <laughs> there we go. Great. This takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles. Okay, there we go. Rebecca keep some I knew I was going to find it eventually. Stairs. Now we go downstairs to Rebecca's locker. When they me guess, when we get down, we're going to be like, oh, but I don't know what's her, what's her, uh, um, um, I don't know what's her code. And then we're going to have to find the code, get the code, put that in there, go to Andrew, have him make his uh, 3D print, 1950s 3D print. Keep your secrets, Locker. Where's Rebecca? Oh, there we go. In spell. The way they look at each other. Oh, you come on. It's the real deal. I can't even. Okay, be lit up. Was that even Rebecca? That wasn't even Rebecca, bro. That's Bobby. That's Eugene. Who? 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 <laughs> I'm not looking at all that, bro. I don't need to look at all that. Oh, it's probably in this one. No, that's governess. His old Bernard. Shut up. <clears throat> I don't know why I tell him to shut up. I want to apologize for that. Oh, there's nothing on the door this time. Okay. Rebecca. There we go. Hmm. Why would I be throwing her stuff away? The VIP... The VIP... <laughs> what was that? The VIP guest in room 602 is getting on my nerves. He keeps ordering food that's not on the menu. We don't usually do special orders, but Bernard was adamant 
that we make all of his wishes come true. Do I like? Do I look like a gosh dag genie? That's not even the worst of it, though. Every night he barges in the kitchen as if he was at home, asking for me for his precious little. Okay. Stuff I don't need to look at. Bro, get the candle. So you do have a stash of candles, but where is it? Maybe Bobby took some candles from Rebecca already. Wait, who? If Bobby oh, Bobby. Candles, Big Bobby. Maybe he kept them in his <laughs> Big Bobby. Hold on, where was Bobby at? I know I've seen his name. There we go. Bobby. Okay, dude. Candles, but this looks like the laundry room. That must be the location of Rebecca's stash. Okay. Let me guess. Do I need to get the key? Oh, right. My keys are still in the break room. Oh. Here we are. Why is the door halfway open? Oh, heck no. I can't even open that. Never mind. Let me guess. Are the keys going? Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Yay. It's not, the, it's not going. Hold on tight. This is a long gameplay, man. I had like three times my gameplay is getting ready to end. This is like three hours. <laughs> this is way longer than what it should be, dude. Like, complete the game already. All right. Let's go get that, that stash. What is this? Oh, it's just Rebecca talking. Slapping her gums, that's all. All right, let's see if we can find the candle stash and blah, 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 blah. It's got to be somewhere, right? Oh, never mind. Pick up the candle. Uncup got a candle. <laughs> now, what next? Let's see if Andrew is around. She just said what's next. Like, go to Andrew. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, I remember reading a spy novel. I can't remember the title. It wasn't that good in which they used wax and plaster to make a key mold. I'm thinking we could do the same. Are you sure it's gonna work? Sure? Mm. No. In the novel, they used a special kind of wax, not candle wax, but I think it's worth a shot. I feel like we're yeah. um, getting right. closer to the end. So let's do this, <laughs> shall we? There is absolutely no water coming out of that sink. First step. She was, she um, was just putting- Pour the wax, I suppose? Uh, careful though, the pot's probably hot. That's it. Nicely done. Hmm. Next step. Yeah. Put the key. Better wait a few seconds before removing it. Looks good. Pretty sure you can take. I think we're almost done. All that's left is to pour the plaster from the cup into the mold. Good job. Okay. So now we wait until it's dry, I guess. How long do you think it's going to take? A few minutes, probably. We can poke it every now and then to check. I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster gotcha. key today, huh? Uh, <laughs> no. But I like it. I feel like I'm in one of those novels I spend my days reading. You do you write as well? What are you yeah, reading now? You yeah, do you write as well? Hands. Do you write as well? Oh, <laughs> come on, so no, yeah, have been the 1950s res, you know? I thought for a while it would be my true calling, but one of my roommates read my manuscript and assured me it wasn't for me. That's not very nice of him. What did, he, what did, what you, did you write? write? Oh, yeah, what did um, you write? A while back, I went through a rough patch. So someone close to me suggested I write my autobiography. She thought it might help. That sounds interesting. It's really not. Trust me, my life doesn't deserve to be told in a book. And what about you? Do you write? Not really. I mean, I have this journal in which I write about my day and stuff, you know? And sometimes I scribble down some story yeah. ideas, but I've never had the time to properly develop them. Hey, why don't See, that's you come over sometime? Right there. Actually, that's not an autobiography. That's just a biography. What do you think? Shut up. 
Hmm. <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? Just promise not to laugh. I won't laugh at yours if you don't laugh at mine. <laughs> see, I'm trying but to get her in her. I'm trying to get her in the game. I feel like I feel like you're going probably. I don't know. Rooms. That brain of yours. I trust him a little bit, not too much. Ideas. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, look! I think our key double is dry and ready to go. I can't believe it worked. I could not have done this without you. Well, I'm glad I was able to be of some help. I should get back upstairs. What a though. guy. I've been gone far too long already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and you should. That was 3D printed back in the 50s. <laughs> Otherwise, it could break inside the lock. Yeah. That was an old careful. school 3D printing. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, Sophie. Except for you just did it in real life. Take the carbon copy and just. Okay. I guess we get ready to figure out what's what's in what's in that box. What's in that box? What am I talking about? We were in the we were in the uh, break room this whole time. All right, let's see what we got going on, y'all. I think it's time to finish this off. I feel like the game's going to end pretty soon. I feel like this is the end game. Okay, okay. <laughs> All she's having is <laughs> having a good day. She feels like Sherlock Holmes today. It's practically what this is. Some of them just a random behind. Random on person. All right, here we go. Other key time. Other key time. Other key time. You don't want this. First one. Second one. Oh shoot. Oh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Unlike my favorite okay. bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. Yeah, they, yeah, they really like doing riddles. Like, get out of here. I hope you get better. Try to rest today. I will bring you hot soup after class. Oh, they must have been childhood friends, mm. huh? Marcella invited you to the movies. Let me guess. You said yes. Okay, they both of my always rings twice as it was playing that. Okay. I am sure you will love it seeing you. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. Huh. Okay, I could really listen to Sister Miller's Sister Miller's uh, lecture today. A secret language. All I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. I can't wait for tonight. Oh wow, that's wild. That's wild. This is a lot of stuff to look at. Yeah, Ali. That's an alliteration, isn't it? Doris, I S. Yeah. Doris, I S. You're absolutely right. I wish I could. I feel like climbing on the roof of the tallest building in Austin and shouting my feelings for you at the top of my lungs. God, I sound like a giddy teenager in love for the first time. Maybe I am. Sometimes I am scared that all the time with you was nothing but a dream. A dream too good to be true. I am afraid that when I return to Montreal, I will realize you never existed. Or if you do exist, you don't remember me. I wish I had a picture of the two of us so I would know for sure it was real. I long for your embrace and the taste of your sweet... Jesus Christ. I had a picture of a little lady was taken yesterday and you're just trying to act like it was from back in the day. Like, stop playing. Okay, dear Anne. I am sorry it took me so long to answer you your last letter. It has been six months already since I left Montreal, as you always say. Let's end. Okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, My parents are glad I'm done with my studies. They always thought it was a strange idea for me to go to university. Now they want me to find a husband and have children like any other woman. I think I will. 
These past few weeks, I had a lot of time to reflect on our relationship. You know my feelings for you, and I hope you never forget how much I love you, but we cannot hide our heads in the sand any longer. We were lucky our story to last as long as it did, and foolish to think it would last forever. Our love is forbidden and hiding from my family. It's proven more and more difficult every day. You will always have a special place in my heart. Okay. You made me feel like a teenager. You made everything but the present disappear. Now I need to be an adult and think about the future. Damn it. It's stuck. He said, dang it, it's stuck. I mean, I guess we can throw it away now. Are we done? Put letters back. That riddle's a okay. duffy. Maybe I need a fresh pair of eyes on it. There's no shame in asking for help, Sophie. Two heads are better than one, especially when dealing with riddles. All right, should I call? Okay, I should call. I'm gonna call Andrew. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. Hey Andrew, got a minute? I always have time for you. I opened the chest in room 507. Okay, Andrew, all right. Yeah, well, <laughs> The key did break. This man said I always got time for you. Only back to us. If it does. Okay, Andrew. Always skip town. Forge new he's 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 pulling this Change riz up a little bit. Why am I using the word riz? <laughs> <laughs> so what Okay, Andrew. A riddle. I see Andrew right now. I think it was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room five oh nine. I could use your help mm. with it though. That's awesome. I love riddles. Tell me, which part's causing you trouble? Her alternative name, uh... Um, her alliterative name will surely take you back. <sighs> Intriguing. Yeah, I'm not sure what alliterative means. Oh, it's a series of words that start with the same sound or letters. Like... Perpetual peril. Does that help you? A little bit. It could mean a lot of things. No, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot to get into. No, I don't. Letter. And I think the take you back part is a clue as well. It sounds familiar. Maybe it's a quote from a book or lyrics from a song. If that's the case, you should look for writers or singers' names. All right. Yeah. That'll narrow my search. You're much better at riddles than I am. And you're much better at snooping, so we complete each other. <laughs> Is there anything else? Here's another um, one. Um, no, I need to know about this one too. This one was black. Do you know what this could mean? Mm, this really isn't my area of expertise. Hey, Beth, you know bars, right? Well, not all of them. What about one that has a color in its name? Like the orange chair or the blue lagoon or something? Well, there's the white cat, but I don't think that's your crowd. Oh, it's not for me, but thanks. Did you get that, Sophie? Yeah, I did. But I'm not sure I understand what it means. I'm so a little confused. Well, if her favorite bar is indeed the white cat, then it means we're looking for... A black cat. Exactly. So maybe you should look mm. around to see if there's some reference to a black cat in Mrs. Beaumont's stuff. I, okay. I think there is. I will. Anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. No, that's Thank it. My that's pleasure. it, sir. Call me when you've opened that case. You know I will. Say <laughs> you know I will. All right. Okay, black cat. Black cat. Cherry brandy. Yeah, this is that. All right. All right. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Hmm. I didn't do much, but I'm glad <clears throat> I something to you. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard to edit that to come out. I want to apologize. All right. Um, let me see. Let's 
see it might be in this room. No, no, no. All right, uh, I think we've seen this already. The heck? Why is there a picture frame in a hotel? You already seen this. Wait, huh? Wait, what? I didn't even see that before. Oh, 1947. So that's them in the photo, obviously. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. I already read that earlier. Aha. Adam and Eve. Ah, so Fernie and Wiseman are publishers. So I should have known, because Adam and Deception and everything? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, that makes a lot of sense now. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Doris Day. That's an alliteration, isn't it? Doris. I-S. Doris Day. You, Marcella? After all this, turns out you're a fan Is that you? of Bridget? Of Marcella? That's a lot sweeter than I expected. The heck? There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Oh, it's pages. I, I hate when I do that. <laughs> Man, I do like a happy ending. Dang! I just hope that's where your story is headed. Dang, bro. Oh, so too many pages. Too many came pages. to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary, but all along you meant to reunite with Anne. Dang. All that for that. I'm glad you were able to open up to Marcella and advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. But what for? That's a good question. That's a good question. Oh, Lindsay's a man. Yeah. Oh. It was presumptuous of me to think otherwise. Oh, interesting. So this was all a story about star-crossed lovers, with the lovers in question being Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz. Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet huh. her just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Actually, I think I can help with that. Really? How? Well, some mail just arrived here for Mrs. Beaumont. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what's inside. In it. Me too. Talk Should about a little bit more. What's inside? Well, that's illegal, isn't it? But sometimes the mail arrives a little damaged, you know? Oops. <laughs> so? It's a tourism pamphlet for California and uh, three train tickets. Hmm. What do you think oh. this means? I'd say Anne and Marcella are probably planning to run away from their husbands. Those train tickets must be for them and Michael. So you're on a first name basis now, huh? Mm. Well, after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah, like characters in a book. 
have to say, though, I'm still a bit confused as to how Paul fits into all of this. Hmm. So Marcella hired him, but he was a fan of Marcella, so I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not I'd sure. I'd say Hector hired him to find out about his wife's affair, which would explain why the two of them argued last night, but... But... Well, I think Marcella's the one who hired him. Plus, it seems he's a fan of her novels, so I'm confused. Yeah, it is very puzzling. And why did he have those pictures of you? We'll probably never know. I think the trail ends here. Hmm. I guess investigations in real life always have some loose ends. I was kind of hoping we'd have this big third act reveal, to be honest. At least it made our day pretty interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> it helped me understand you better, too. Oh? Why you snoop, I mean. Piecing together people's stories learning what makes them tick it makes you realize we may have more in common than it seems mm. you're right yeah what Did about you your story I though let's talk let's talk about I this for a minute <laughs> what about your story andrew andrew so i'm a little bit intrigued about the story i'm just looking at it <laughs> i'm staring my apartment next no <laughs> i would love to share my story with you sophie you're the first person in a long time who's made me feel like I can. Would you come and see me when your shift ends? We could leave together if you'd like. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. Oh, I wouldn't be sleeping. I've got a reading list the size of the Eiffel Tower. This would be the perfect chance to put a dent in it. That does sound like fun. I could bring my magazines and, ooh, maybe light some of Rebecca's candles. Now I kind of hope we do get stuck here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I pick that? Stop, Sophie. Go downstairs. I just have to finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. Are you sure about that? Close his back, like she. <laughs> she all making it obvious. All right, what's my task? I ain't gonna lie, I don't even remember what my tasks are. Ringing. What are my tasks? Sounds like the elevator doors are jammed. I'm pretty sure I cleaned everything anyway. Is something blocking the elevator doors? I should go check it out. Oh, those are blood. That's blood. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Please tell me that's grape juice. Who is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's Bernard. Oh my God, bro. Don't touch him. Mr. Cruz? Don't touch him. Mr. Cruz. I think I'm gonna get the bad ending anyway. Because <laughs> there was a few things I did, like the key breaking off and everything. What happened? Why am I inspecting this? Don't Cruz's touch him. Life insurance policy. Marcella? Oh. Okay. Let's not jump to conclusions. Taco Bill. 
Is there more? I think that was it. Is this about Paul? Does that mean? Oh gosh. Please let there be someone around who can help. <gasps> oh heck to the no, dude. Am I next? Hello. I think Is I'm it? next. I think I'm next. But I can't be though, because I was at the police department. So this, because this is a flashback. So like, so I can't, I can't die. Oh what the? Oh heck no, bro. All right, can we investigate this, or we're we just gonna be staring at it? Heck no, bro. I don't like this, bro. What is this? A, B, and Beaumont. Bro, this is annoying me right now. Oh, so what Paul's work this? with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator. To help her with research for her novel. Ah. Lindsay's death, really. So Paul just needed to pass the time while Marcella was away. That's why he was... Paul was hiding out, right here. Did he ever find the person who was sneaking out at night? The heck? Well, that, well that's a camera. Big behind camera, too. Okay... This is interesting. This is interesting. What's that? Oh, this is the pearls. Pearls. What happened? Is my daughter a pearl? Uh oh. Is that a screwdriver? Should I hold on to this, maybe? So. We didn't go downstairs. Hello? Oh, I probably had to go to the stairs. I'm so stupid. I probably gotta go to the stairs. help. You don't really seem like you need help. You don't really seem like you're actually even all that urgent. Like, you're walking. Okay, this is scary. This got kind of creepy really fast. Like, out of nowhere. I knew blocking the stairs would be a bad idea. How would I get the power back on? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. Okay, screwdriver. Mm, it's too big. I guess I'll need something. Pointy. That worked, thank God. When did I? Oh, okay. To get the power back. Okay, dude. Wait, what's the, what's the blown one? Place do this again. Fuse? Huh. fuses. I probably need new fuses. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Eugene. Oh God. What I would give to have you with me right now. <sighs> Your note will have Where to would I go. find new fuses, bro? Okay, so all of those I need to go and get some new ones. Much use without the rest of the code. Safe combinations. Oh, these are all safe combinations. Not much use without the rest. Five oh nine. Bro, why do you have it like this? Why? Like this? Why? Interesting. Why is it? Why did you have that stuff spilled on there, bro? <sighs> five hundred one, five hundred four. I can't even see anything on that one. 
kind of kind of thing is that, bro? How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new <clears throat> fuses. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably How would I get a new, new fuses? fuses? Like they. Getting the fuse box open was half the battle. Now I need to take a look inside and fix what needs fixing. Okay, but like, where do I How get? Does do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Bro. Where do I get the fuses then? That's that's a better question. Are the fuses? Hold on. I don't think there's anything here that would. There's none in there. I think the fuses might be in the rooms. Heck no, bro. I don't think it's in this room. Yeah, this game got uh, inf infinitely more creepier. Where is the fuses? I want to know where would I get any fuses at. Yes, this is what I need. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Hold on, so I'll remove it. Alright, I got it. So I just need to Okay. Here's the new fuse. Here's the new fuses. There we go. Where did they how did they pop in there though? Like that what what happened? <laughs> like when did that happen? I think it's the opposite. Maybe I need to move some things around. Let me freeze this. So, oh, wait a minute. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It literally tells me what. <laughs> literally tells me what the power is in the first place. Okay, so 25. Maybe I need to. Move so what is 25? 25 is P. So you need one that's 15. So 15 is A. So A. Nothing. Is up here. So place an A up here, and then uh, up here is a thirty, which is a G, and then down here twenty. That's a S. Then this should work. There we go. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I, I wasn't even reading the thing, and it was literally just telling me word for word what to do. That's if you make it. Ooh. See, like, this thing is open. You know what's crazy, though? Is, like I said, I think I... I definitely messed up. So I think I'm definitely gonna get the bad ending to be no, honest. Because I, I cleaned out some stuff. I I, I move all the stuff around. There's really no point. I might as well just leave. <laughs> That's the dip time in the game, yo. Bye everyone. I lost. I didn't even want to do that. Button? And I already touched the body too, so even if I did things like Probably won't be leave. Sorry, I'm getting a little angry. My bad, yo. Like me touching the body right there would have Gave me a bad ending anyway, because he could just do an autopsy to see who touched him. And my fingerprints would be on it as well, so. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. There, there was a couple ways I, I could have got caught right there. Of course, they killed Bernard on my floor. Like, why can you do it on uh, Linda's floor or something? That's wild. Why am I all the way down? Oh, I'm at the reception I'm desk. Sorry. Okay, no I'm sorry. Oh. Huh? Okay, there we go. <laughs> what happened to everyone?
Mm. Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please I do. Calm, Where are you right now? The lobby. But the body, it's... It's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um... 11... Is that a decision I should have made? Alright, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. Now, I just have to wait for the police. Hey, you're here. I've tried restoring the power, but... Wait, that was Hector? <laughs> 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 Why did I think that was Bernard? Why don't we leave Bernard? Sophie? Don't worry. I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Darn it, I really hey, thought I was Bernard for a minute. <laughs> oh, we're going to play the piano? Okay. I don't know. My Cruz. fault. Hector. He's back? Uh, how's he taking that whole thing with his wife? You don't understand. I found his body. He's nope. He's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need you need to sit down, huh? Do you think it's Paul, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's Paul. Let, let's be honest. Yeah, I police? think it might be Paul. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're on their way. What happened? Was he sick or something? No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean... <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> That's all I was saying the whole time. I was like, why would you touch the body? Like, that? I know technically you had to get him out, but like, I would have got some gloves or something to move. I... I found something on Hector that would point to that. Yes. On Hector? You mean, you've touched the body? I didn't, I mean, yes, kind of. Okay, not a great idea, but we'll figure something out. Just maybe don't mention that to the police, hmm? Hmm. What did you find? I found out Hector was trying to get some information. Uh, yeah, what do you mean by that, hmm? Plus, we know they fought yesterday, so maybe... <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Jack wasn't there to intervene this time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's an accident. Maybe Paul freaked out and fled the scene. He may have spent some time in a psychiatric hospital, but that doesn't mean he's some dangerous psychopath. What are you saying? What I mean is... <sighs> With his history of mental illness, I wouldn't be surprised if the police turned this into a media circus on the dangers of crazy people. And it would give Bernard and his pals all the ammunition they need to fight the construction of the new hospital. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. But wait, how do you know about Paul's mental illness? I don't remember mentioning it to you. Oh, um, look, I really should have told you before. It's just, when I was 19, I studied to be a priest, but I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like, I could barely get myself out of bed, so I ended up going to a psychiatric mm -hmm. hospital. The same one as Paul, I suppose. Mm-hmm. The doctors, they helped me get back on my feet. <laughs> he was like, well, I do. Hometown, Good boy, it was like Andrew. I had become a complete stranger. My mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear. Yeah, my mom has a mental illness. Changing well. side make, make it feel a little when better. they saw me, looking at me as if, as if I was this dangerous creature all of a sudden. That's why I didn't tell you. I was af I was afraid you'd look at me like they did. I'm sorry. 
You don't have to be sorry. I understand. Mm. You do? You know how I tell everyone that my mom's Yo. sick. But Appreciate yeah. you, Andrew. Well, it's true, but <sighs> I always leave out the part about her illness not being physical. Mm. I'm ashamed of the truth. So even <laughs> I, don't I can understand. Thank you for telling me. I know it's not an easy thing to talk about, but I'm about to go get framed. About, your mom, <laughs> about to get framed on the wall. <laughs> the, on the wall of idiocracy. They're here. That's an idiocracy. Promise me you'll be careful with the information you share. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you were. This man acting like like if it was your family member who was in, who is uh, uh murder, you would want to be there twenty five hundred hours. Miss Roy. Miss Roy. Miss Roy. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I'm not sure where malfunction was, was blocking the doors. I was 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring. Again and again. And again. Mm, should I lie? I thought maybe a child was playing with the should doors. Should I lie? Mr. Cruz's body so was blocking the doors. I went out in the doors. corridor. And that's when... We're gonna lie. We're gonna lie. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I guess the doors must have malfunctioned. A malfunction? Is that something that happens often? Quite often, yeah. Eugene, that's our maintenance guy. He, he has to repair the elevator at least twice a month. We also have a lot of problems with the electricity and the plumbing. It's an old building, you know? Hmm. I'll have someone take a look at that elevator. If there was a problem with it, surely they haven't gone around to fix it yet. No. No, probably not. So, what did you do when you found the body? I... I checked had to move to, if he was still alive. It. How? I tried to find his pulse, but there wasn't one. Is that when you moved the body? I already you know, I already know I messed that up. I messed mean? that up. We found evidence that the body first fell inside the elevator, but was then moved out of it. Um, Mr. Cruz was halfway inside the elevator when I found him. Since the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, I... Ira. I had no choice but to move the body to leave the fifth floor. So that must be why the elevator bell was ringing. Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It wasn't... Because uh, if I say we, I had to use what an ice pick, it would sound it? like well, I killed him. That's when so I'm going to say it wasn't locked. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? No, never. <laughs> no, nope. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But the box wasn't locked. Isn't that unusual? Well, maybe Eugene forgot to lock it last time he used it. Hmm. 
Or maybe someone tampered with it. Did you go near the ice machine at any point today? Hmm. No. Are you sure? Yes, I am. What shoe size do you wear? Shoe size? Um, seven. Why? Well, we found size seven footprints near the ice machine. I just thought they might be yours. Oh, but that's not an uncommon shoe size, though. Is it? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it so, was just an assumption. What did you do after restoring? Um, I I've been snooping around. The down to the lobby. It was just an assumption, dude. That's where I called it. It was just place. an assumption. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words. I. No, I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? All right, sir. All right. I. I just assumed. What with all the blood? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't believe that, Miss Roy. It's Paul spent some time in a psychiatric hospital. I don't know anything about. Sure We're going to tell him all the truth. <laughs> Why am I playing around? Personal belongings. We found pictures of you snooping around. Oh. Um. Now, unless you want me to arrest you for violating your guest's privacy, I suggest you tell me everything you know. All right. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? He spent some time in a psychiatric hospital after the war. That's when he got into Mrs. Cruz's novels, and they really helped yes, him. Yes, I already know about <laughs> his time in a madhouse. They called the place and they painted quite the picture of him. Did you ever see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? No. I mean, we've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No, nothing like that. You know what? We all um, have our obsessions. I'm going to take Any a stand. I'm going to take a stand. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines, and... You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. So tell me. Did you ever see him be violent or aggressive? <laughs> I was starting to worry, but you're get out of here, bro. You're wrong. I beg your pardon. He is like us. We all struggle sometimes. Some of us more than others, but there's nothing wrong with that. You may not have noticed, Miss Roy, but neither of us are in an insane asylum right now. He was brave enough to seek help. That doesn't make him a criminal. That doesn't mean he killed Mr. Cruz. You know, I'm starting to worry about your own mental state, Miss Roy, since you're so eager to defend- And a I worry about your ability to do your job, Detective, since you seem to be such a- ENOUGH! One more word, just one more word, and you'll be spending the rest of your night in a cell. Now get the hell out of here. I've had enough of you. I had enough of you. <laughs> it's, all, it's all gonna be. Get out of here, I had enough of you. I had enough of you. All right, so some of them was pretty bad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was a bad interrogation. One of the worst interrogations. See, the thing is, you don't know how it's going to end, so you don't know how. I thought I had a hearing aid for like two seconds. Bernard was strangely chipper on the phone. That can't be a good sign. I guess I'll know soon enough. The atmosphere oh, is so different in here. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. I'm not going to clean that. Okay, I Eugene, actually... The lobby will be a swimming pool by the end of the month. Where am I will going? Will of the building even be standing? I'll need a mop to clean the puddle. With all the leaks, I'm sure there's one nearby. What in? How am I supposed to get in there? Because uh, it's blocking me. It's quite literally blocking me, so like, how am I supposed to get my... Where's the mop? Let me stop yelling. 
looking for a mop, cleaning puddles. Just like Where always. is the mob then? But it all feels so different. The only thing the only spot I could think of is down is upstairs in the janitor's closet. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought the game was over, man. They just keep going and going and going. <laughs> Let me stop. Alright, um That's weird because I can't walk in that puddle, but I can walk in this one. Oh, I was right here. It's literally standing right in front of my face. Pick up the thing, lady. There we go. Boom. I'll go empty my locker. Andrew. Uh, hey. Are you okay? Um, I've... I've just been fired. What? What? No, uh... It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What's going on? Bernard. Ah, Miss Roy. Come in. Why did you fire Andrew? Because you think he's crazy? You here? I would guess it has something to do it with It has something to do with the murders, murder. right? Well, you'd be right about that. I wish that was We've you. We've been getting I'm a sorry. lot of press lately. Sorry, that was, that was a little, and that was a little crazy, time. actually. That, that was a little I wouldn't expect that was a little you to understand insane. the position I'm in. But I assure you, that was a little it's insane. quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. You've been quite the disappointment. <laughs> Unclean rooms, several complaints from guests. I may have been too busy to notice it before, but now that it's staring me right in the face, I cannot continue to ignore it. You're fired. What? You can't Yeah, you can fire, fire me because I quit. Because... Because I quit. Yeah, I quit. <laughs> sure. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. You, bye. You quit. <laughs> I don't want a boss like that anyway. Just bye. Sure See you, Bernard. The before the end of the month. <laughs> That'll be all. Bye, Bernard. I don't care. I hope more. I hope this comes the murder capital of hotels. Like, <laughs> I hope you get known for 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 ghostly huntings because you got murderers all over the place. Tired this dude. What a week. This is 65, 60 something years ago, and I'm still mad. I'm angry at this so dude. So, what did Bernard want with you? Well, he was being kind of a jerk, so I quit. You what? I quit. Yeah. I figured there was no point in staying if you were leaving. I'm There's no point in that. Flattered, but. Tired of that dude. That really <laughs> he took wasn't me necessary. off. I think it's for the best. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Well, I told him about my time at the psychiatric hospital. Really? Yeah. He said that that didn't fit with the hotel standards <laughs> and showed me the door. I know you will bounce well, back, bro. I'm not I know you got this. Worried about you. I know you'll be just fine. Yeah. Exactly. Hopefully I will be. Think of all the good times you'll have away from Bernard. <laughs> it's funny you should say that, because I was actually thinking I'd like being my own boss. I've mm. had this dream for a while of maybe opening a bookstore. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. It just makes this so much loves sense. Books. <laughs> I'd be able to combine the two things I love most, reading books and helping people. Granted, helping people find books is a far cry from helping them find God, but... My mom likes to say, there's no job too small. Plus, just mm. by the way you're talking about it, it's obvious that it'd make you happy. And that's what really matters, I think. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. 
I'm really glad I have you in my life. Me too. That's what's up. <laughs> Can I kiss you? I've been thinking about mental illness. What do you think will happen to our guests? I don't know. What, what do you think will happen to our guests? I, I don't Who? Sorry, my mind went. I ain't trying to do all that kiss stuff, man. I meant Paul, <laughs> Anne, and Marcella. Do you think they'll be released? Let's give it a couple months. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Give it a couple months, y'all. I don't know. Relax. I wish they'd get a happy ending, but I'm not sure That's it's that a kind of months. story. Let's relax. <laughs> I'd like to believe it is. I think Paul becomes a famed photographer. He gets his own studio and decorates it like a hotel bathroom. As for Anne and Marcella, they move in together. But they keep leaving each other notes in the vents. You know, for old time's sake. I like it. Take a bunch of ticking time. Maybe moms. you should write that. Hmm. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> Take a photo of us again. I dare you. Take another photo. Well, yeah, I quit that job. I'm tired of that. Three corresponders charged in Clarence and hotel murder case. Oh. They got charged. I mean, it wasn't a terrible ending. Lindsay Franklin. Dang, she was, what, 33? River in our hearts, okay. Dang. They're in the jail cell next to each other. It's kind of crazy. Kid has to go with his father with a big behind. Clifford the Red Dog. Clifford the Gray Dog, actually, that time. Grand opening of the new hotel. A oh, grand reopening, sorry, VIP only. Who wants to stay there? A Sophie's choice? I don't even know if this was. I don't know what kind of ending was this, to be honest with you. I, this kind of like, it's the. Oh, well, that ends well. It's, it's like the all right ending. Oh, okay, we got our store, we got our store, we got our bookstore. Okay, okay. Bookstore time, bookstore time. I like that. I should have threw those pictures away. All right, well, that was, uh, that was, um, the bed we made. Ladies and gentlemen, that game. Oh, yeah, we're going, we're going to speed, we're going to speed run that. Okay, be like that. Is that it? Sudden. Wait, why is there a continue button? What would I continue for? Anyways, that was um this bed we made. That was a long behind game. It probably wasn't even gonna take that long, but I just took too long <laughs> to figure stuff out. So yeah, um I was recording for like three and a half hours. <laughs> but um the extra gameplay, I don't know how long it's gonna be, because I'm probably gonna like cut it down to like a lot. I'm I'm gonna cut a lot of stuff. But um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This game was actually pretty cool. Uh, that's another game I can add, you know, to the end of 2023, say that I complete it. Um, yeah, it was it was it was worth twenty dollars. <laughs> actually, I spent eighteen actually because it's on sale. But <laughs> yeah, um, that was fun. I like the art style. I like the time period and everything like that. I think it was um worth the game. I think it was worth it. Uh, one of my one of my favorites I played this year. Um, and I hope there's many more better ones in 2024. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said in the beginning of the video, that felt like it was forever ago when I started <laughs> recording this. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. There might be another video coming out pretty soon before that, because um, I know I have my universe mode for Raw on the first, obviously. Uh, so don't forget to watch that uh, Raw Day One and SmackDown New Year's Revolution on January fifth. But um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, this was actually fun. It was a little. I got a little stomped on a, on a couple of them. I ain't gonna hold you. I got a little stomped, but um, yeah, it's gonna be like a lot of cutting on this one. A lot, a lot of cutting. A lot of cutting. This is a long video. A long video. <laughs> but um, 
Yo, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one for whatever that is. Um, this bed we made, and now you gotta lie in it. Lay down. All right, this, I hate my outros, bro.